Alright, so what's up guys? So yeah, I have a Yu Yu match here against Pokemon Trainer Apollo. This is kind of a rematch, because you know, last time I faced him in Yu Yu as well. And I used a different team. He used, I think, a semi-different team. He still has that Yen Mega, which, you know, the Yen Mega managed to get so much hacks on me in this last match that we had, so uh, I was afraid on the rematch. But I noticed that uh, my PlayStation All-Stars videos are actually doing a lot better than I expected. I mean, I kind of half expected him not to do that well, which is awesome. And if you guys ever see him go up, if you could just leave a like, and if you could go like all the PlayStation All-Star videos, that'd be fantastic. But let's get into this... Let's get into this battle. So he's basically going to lead off Snorlax. I actually predicted a different type of lead, which is, um, you know, kind of annoying, because that means he's able to get a free curse up. And I basically, in the stream, I was like, you know, if he's not curse lax, this really isn't threatening. But of course, when you know he's going to be curse lax. So this is exactly not that grand. So I decided to bring in my Blastoise because it can pretty much wall this thing. I mean, you know, more or less, I can take a lot of hits and I get the uh, first turn scout, which is going to allow me to take that body slam a lot nicer than it appears I would have. So apparently I couldn't completely wall this in like I thought, and he's going to get the Parax, which it, honestly on Blastoise it really doesn't matter too much. I just wanted to roar him out, and yeah, Flygon, I actually haven't seen a Flygon in UU in a long time, which is weird because it used to be one of the most used in the UU. Um, so, wow, okay, you know, kind of contrasting there. He has a Life Orb, so I figured, you know, Toxic would probably be better than roaring him out, as, you know, between him attacking and then the Toxic, it's going to start racking up pretty good Life Orb damage, and he is going to go for the Earthquake, uh, you know, probably thinking I'm just going to sack my Blastoise, that's not the case, and that Fire Punch does a lot more than I thought it was going to do, and he gets the lucky 10% burn. Which is okay, because I guess I got the scalp burn, so that's pretty even hacks right there. And I am a Bronze Zone run HP Ice, which is, you know, more more common for OU Bronze Zone than UU Bronze Zone, but I figured, you know, the situational Flygon here and there might be useful. So he's gonna put in Meloetta, so, I mean, obviously this is threatening, but he goes for Flamethrower, and uh, that kind of proves that he's not a Meloetta, he's in fact a Zoroark. And I, you know, I kind of figured he was probably going to switch out because he doesn't want to stay in. But, you know, might as well get off a little bit of extra damage while we can with the Pursuit. And now he's going to bring in his Snorlax, I don't know, more or less probably thinking he's going to wall me. Or maybe he's fishing for the Parahax, which really wouldn't matter because I'm one of the, I, I'm running like no speed EVs on this Snorlax because it was meant for a Trick Room team. And I just decided, you know, the return might be useful since this team really doesn't need to rely on paralysis, honestly. And so he's going to go for the buy slam here. I'm going to just, I don't know, semi try and fodder out my Blastoise. Because why not? And uh, he is getting burned, and I figured, you know, he's probably going to just leave it in. I don't know why he didn't go for the body slam, though. Uh, I just went for Roar just, you know, just to die. But apparently dying didn't work as well as I thought it was going to. Right here, though, I mean, I figure, you know, I really don't need Blastoise anymore. He doesn't really seem to have any Stealth Rocker, so I'm not that afraid. And uh, he is going to switch out here as I am actually a special Victini instead of a physical Victini, which is a little, a little more uncommon than the physical Victini, which is why I tend to run one, just in case. So right here he switches in, obvious damage is obvious, so I'm going to go ahead and switch into Snorlax to take whatever that Zoroark wants to do. As at this point, I know it's obviously Zoroark, because uh, I haven't damaged the Meloetta, so, you know, he can't really fool me with that one. And I'm going to go for the return as he brings in the zoom roll. of course, I'm, yeah. I'm not running max attack, I don't think, so, of course it doesn't really do much. I figured, you know, obvious superpower was obvious, but I need death fodder, so I figured, you know, let's death fodder the brown zone, because it's burned, so it's not much use. Here I'm going to bring in my Victini again, and I believe I just go for the uh, thunder again? No, I go for blue flare, because I knew blue flare would uh, do whatever damage I needed to do. And at the time, I was like, you know, maybe I can fool him into thinking I'm choice in some way, um, which I'm actually not. I'm actually expert belt, but of course... It, I might I might actually make the Victini choice because obviously Expert Belt's really not doing as much as I had hoped it would actually do. And right here, I, I go for two blue flares and I miss. It's like 93% accuracy with 
Victini's victory star raise, and yeah, I freaking miss, which is typical because, you know, why why would Victini actually manage to get the damage off on Meloetta? That's okay, because, you know, I, I brought a Reiner to this match just in case. I brought Ditto, so I'm, I'm honestly pretty okay. I'm not really worried, and I'm Scarf, so I'm obviously going to outspeed him, so I go for the Hyper Voice, and that is going to, my surprise, actually end up KOing him. And a obvious protect is obvious. And as he's not in the green, I'm a little bit surprised he's not running that one HP in... Oh, I mean that four HP EVs. Just to make sure Yanmega can come in at least twice. That That's semi-surprising. So I go into my Snorlax, because I know I can pretty much do take hits. And I was hoping he didn't get a flinch. Which, fortunately, for me this time, Hax is not going to play shenanigans with his little dino bugs. So I'm happy about that. Because last time Hax played major shenanigans... And at this point, I thought, you know, if he wants to go for Aqua Jet or Waterfall or do whatever to try and KO me, it's not going to really matter. I'm not sure if the crit actually mattered at that point, because he is Choice Banded. But, yeah, right here, I'm just going to bring Heracross and just finish him off and get the Moxie boost. It's actually a Ender Salic Heracross that he ran against me last time. But that is going to be the game, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and basically we'll see you later. Peace.